to get the season going. Uh, you know, happy for the guys getting a, a win against a team that made the playoffs last year and uh, has been a team that's knocked off some really good teams and given teams fits. Uh, so um, that was the, the challenge that was presented to us opening up against a, a really good team. I think Coach Sorby does a great job and, um, you know, just happy for the guys to, to get the first one under their belt. Um, it's never easy early season. There's a lot of things you're still working on and uh, guys in new roles, um, but uh, just had a lot of faith in our older players, um, just the leadership that we have, um, the type of guys they are, um, just know what they're made of. And just felt like, okay, regardless of how things go, we got a good group and, and hopefully we can get a win, which we did. Get the number one business phone system as ranked by U.S. News and World Report. Nextiva by Viner Forgates. Saves you money while delivering higher ROI, getting you the best product for your business. Communicate better today at home or from the office with Nextiva by Viner Forgates. Visit us at vinerforgates.com slash VOIP or call 877-797-8776. Coach, um, your, your face-off stand in there comes out in the first half and really gives your offense a lot of possession. You talk about not just their play today, but especially um, Luke's growth from last year when we last saw him until today. Yeah, um, you know, we feel like we've got a good group down there. Coach Kennedy does an awesome job with, with the four guys that are down there. And uh, you saw everybody get out there today, which is great. And I think we've always felt like it's, you know, that kind of hog pen mentality of, you know, they beat each other off all week, they give each other different looks, but they, everybody gets prepared. Uh, but certainly Luke, uh, since the day he got here, just so much growth, uh, just everything, his comfortability, his poise, uh, savviness, uh, the plays that he makes. Um, we recruited him because we felt like he was a really good athlete. Um, we knew he faced off, but he did a lot of different things and knowing the way the rules were going, felt like he was kind of a natural for, you know, any anytime you go down and you face off, it's a loose ball and you want that athlete, a guy that can pick up ground balls, a guy that can run the field um, and not just maybe a guy that is a, can just win the face off. Um, but he's really taken it to the next level. Um, and, and I think Gavin coming in has been great. They have that delicate balance of, I, I think they both want to take every face off, but they're such good teammates that regardless of who's out there, they're going to support each other, which is really hard to find. Um, and it says a lot about each guy. It never becomes, you know, like jealousy or anything like that. So again, very lucky to have uh, a group like that, but certainly those two guys. And uh, we know going through the year, you can't, it, it, I shouldn't say can't, but it's really hard to get through the year with one guy. It just is, it's a long season. And some days maybe one guy's on, sometimes the guy's a, a tough matchup. And you know, throughout that, you're gonna have some injuries. Um, so, um, and, and you kind of need a third guy. So we're hopeful that, you know, Shea and, and Michael continue to develop. Uh, Keegan, I want to ask you, this is your uh, first game with the program, um, but you look super comfortable out there today. I want to ask you how that transition has been and how you've really adapted and fit into this offense so seamlessly. Yeah, obviously it's the first game of the season. Everyone's excited, but yeah, I was, I was a little nervous, but the guys on the offense and defensive side have helped me out all year, helping all the transfers out. And were very welcoming of us and made us feel right at home from the start, so it was pretty easy for us to do. We really feel like we were a part of it. John, with, with guys like Keegan coming in and other transfers, um, you know, how do you trust them from day one to kind of come in and be a big part of your team? And also, trust some of the older guys, you know, the veterans in the team to maybe switch some roles and welcome these guys? Um, I think a lot of it comes down to the, when, you know, the end of the year comes and, and these guys have these extra years and obviously with the portal, it's the reality of college athletics now. Um, it, you're gonna have some leave and then some guys are gonna come in. Um, for us, it's just, you know, there are good, a lot of good players. For us, it's finding the right guys, so guys that, you know, after you start talking to coaches and, and talking to people they know and, and your players and people that know them well, trying to find out, are they just a good fit? Um, because you can't just take anybody in and, and bring them into your team and, and it's gonna work. You, at least in my opinion, you gotta find guys that have similar values um, and guys that, you know, they, they kind of have the same ideals that you do. Um, and, and certainly in Keegan's case and, and, and the guys that we did have uh, come in this year, 
just felt like they were our types of guys. Um, when we talked each week, you know, this summer, the biggest thing is I just want to win. Um, never ask to be guaranteed anything. Um, you know, I was dumb enough to, to, to not, you know, get it done the first time and I joked with them about it. You know, we recruited the first time and obviously I didn't do a very good job. So um, there was a relationship there. We knew the type of guy he was. Um, and I love his story um, as a guy that, you know, he was a late bloomer, um, you know, and, and there's a, a lot of guys like that out there um, that he just, you know, hit it a little bit later and you know, was willing to do a year at Canada and just get better. And listen, we played against him, he gave us fits. So I knew from the recruiting the type of guy he was and after playing against him, knew the player he was. And uh, everybody we talked to had checked out and, and even during the recruiting process, he looked at a lot of places and we just felt like he was a really good piece knowing that we lost Jared and we didn't want or need anybody to be Jared that would be unfair. But knowing what Jerry did, we felt like through a number of guys, we could um, cumulatively kind of have a group that could play well together. And, and that's the way we're gonna have to be this year because Jared did so much last year, um, but we have to be different. But I think because of the parts we have, we can still be successful. In a way, we're gonna be less predictable and it's a super unselfish group. And uh, I appreciate you know just the way Keegan and all of our transfers have have approaches, but I appreciate guys like Logan welcoming them and making that transition easier. Logan, I have two questions for you. One is, how does it feel to wear number one? And then secondly, does today's result sort of reinforce the message that although you guys have changed numerous faces, that the talent program is still competitive? I mean, yeah, like you said, we have to come in uh, new faces and stuff. Like Chris Johnson, I mean, Jordan, obviously Keegan. Um, you know, th this was a good first uh, building block, but uh, you know, we're just getting started. Moving forward, we have to get the tournament next week in Loyola, which will be a test for us. So um, that's, that's all I want to say. Okay. Wearing the number one. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously I played with, you know, I got to play with Jared and Connor and stuff, which, you know, was, was super cool. And like, just kind of seeing, like, like, what they did and, like, how they carried themselves. So I, I just kind of took some snippets from that. So, great. Uh, Coach, you had nine different goals for us today, uh, including four of them being chances. You kind of talked about yeah, I thought early on um, we were we were trying to get into a little bit of rhythm, um, and uh, I think when you have guys that you know we do have some talented guys there and experienced guys there, you got to walk the fine line of I have tons of trust in those guys. They're super unselfish, um, but at, at times you know we have guys that are pretty aggressive. Um, so you're you're trying to let them get into a flow, and I think it took us a little time to get comfortable. Um, but I think once they got comfortable, I thought some good things happened. Um, you know, unfortunately at six one, uh, I give them credit at six one, and, and much like last year against Virginia, you know, Virginia's up six one, and they came storming back, and it became a one goal game. Um, they made a run, and they did a great job of having long possessions, taking it deep into the shot clock. And then we came down, just had a couple quick shots. I don't think they were necessarily bad shots, but they were quick possessions. And then all of a sudden you see our defense coming off and it's early season and they're getting worn down a little bit. Um, but I thought the guys did a good job at times of just giving our defense a break, but still finding that rhythm, uh, finding uh, some good opportunities, sharing the ball. Uh, and that's what's been fun with this group is they don't really care who scores. Um, they're not really caught up in stats. They just want to win. Um, and they know if they give it up, they're going to get it back. Keegan, for new faces such as yourself, uh, Owen Murphy, uh, Jonathan Donjo, what what have you learned about sort of the standards expected from your area? Yeah, obviously, I mean, the saying is be the best and really shows in practice every single day, whether you're a starting player or a guy who's just on the scout team, playing as hard as you possibly can, and that's just the expectation. So it's definitely a very good culture that's been here. And I wouldn't say there's really pressure on I mean, personnel too. Like they, uh, like there's pressure on it from anyone. We just kind of just play as a group, play together, and that's what we're looking to do going forward. Coach, some new faces on offense, but a lot more uh, continuity on defense. What did you like out of the defensive side of the ball today? 
Um, you know, you give up 13 goals. Uh, you know, certainly that's not um, the standard that we have. I know they have some good pieces. I know Coach Bernhardt will not be happy uh, watching the film tonight. Um, he's got great standards too. Uh, but they have some guys, and unfortunately, we, we, I felt like we had a good game plan going in. I think Jesse did a great job preparing our guys. Uh, unfortunately, we had some times where, you know, you, you look at, you know, Nolte, he does such a good job. He's, he's a tough matchup because he's so big and strong. Um, he feeds it well, he shoots it well, um, and he does put pressure on you. Um, and, and he has got a good relationship uh, with 55. And, and if you watched, um, you know, even last year, he'll just jam it in there. And they just have this second sense where he knows kind of where 55 is among others. Um, and, and at times, we were in really good spots. We collapsed, we had everybody inside 10 yards. We just didn't cover. Um, and, and really, that's the part where, you know, to go from good to great, that's great that you've collapsed, but if you collapse and you give them enough space, it's really, it doesn't really matter how condensed you are. So we just needed to get in and mark that guy. Um, and, and we wanted to space, uh, just pay special attention to that, um, that matchup. And, you know, I thought Brent overall did a good job. The stats don't really reflect that, but Brent missed a ton of time in the preseason. Um, he's just coming back. So for what little he's prepared um, this spring so far, I thought he did a pretty good job. Um, so again, a lot to work on. Um, I, we know what's coming next week, probably the most experienced team in the country and a, and a team that is as good as anybody. Um, so we're gonna have to clean up a ton because that team is really, really good. So coach, um, Bob was running um, almost exclusively that defensive midfield. Is that something that, that we should expect moving forward? Or is that due to Alex and, and Josh not looking like they want to play? A, a little bit of both. Um, you know, Bubba, again, what, what makes teams successful? Yeah, you could have talent, but you need to have great people and great teammates. Uh, Bubba was like, listen, I'm happy to play more defense. Um, you know, we have some guys that are good parts on the other end. Um, listen, I'll go down there and help. Um, and when you got guys like that, listen, you, you, you appreciate it. You know you can be really good because they're putting the, the we instead of me. And so we were like, okay, great. And Bubba has been a two-way guy for us. We always feel comfortable with him on the defensive, defensive end. Um, so he missed some time early, so he's just kind of getting back and getting in the form. But he gives us the ability to, you know, play defense. He cleared the ball exceptionally well. There were some times where he just ran the ball out, and then, you know, he's got so much experience down there. That's an option for us as well, just to keep him on there. So um, again, we're going to get um, Alex back at some point. Um, but again, having guys like that, the two guys to my left, it's a heck of a lot of fun every day to go to practice with guys that. They care more about the team than just themselves. Uh, uh, Logan, this is for you. Uh, you know, you said you guys are just getting started. For you to come out today, eight points, nine different goals for you personally, nine different goal scores for the team. Uh, what does this start say about the potential for what you guys can do, and, and how did it feel to be out there and get that start on the team? I mean, yeah, it felt awesome to be out there. You know. The best venue in college cross in front of the best fans in college cross. Um, obviously, with these new pieces and stuff, you know, just kind of laying the foundation and stuff, and just building one uh, one week at a time, one day at a time. So it, it, was, it was definitely fun today. Thank you. Yep. John, I think of the past. You said you know you, there's a new team every year, but having so many familiar faces back, how much love, what's the level of comfort that, that you guys can have those guys back? Um, just having those guys and, and knowing you know, kind of what we value here is huge. Uh, and we didn't know Bubba was coming back until the end of summer. We didn't know Anthony was definitely coming back until January. Um, and that's where I really felt like Owen, you know, Murphy and, and Keegan on the offensive end, we, if those guys didn't come back, we just felt like that experience would be huge for us. Uh, the fact that Bubba came back and now he's playing a little more defense right now. Um, and then Anthony came back is even, you know, obviously it's great. Um, just because, you know, Jared, again, Jared, you're not going to find guys that have a season like Jared very often. I mean, 
a guy that it was just hard for almost anybody to cover him. And so you had this option that's very rare to find. You know, I think back to Pat Spencer when he was a senior. Um, and some guys like that where every time they got the ball, if you didn't help, they could get, good, get the good spots. If you did help, other guys got, got some leverage and got some opportunities. Knowing that's gone, we feel like now it's important to have six guys out there that can dodge, can play with the ball, can play without the ball, share the ball. Uh, they're flexible parts. Um, it gives us a lot of options. And yeah, we don't have Jared, but again, in certain ways, you know, you could find Jared last year and say, okay, the ball's gonna go through him. Now it could go through anybody. And, and I think everybody on the field has confidence in the other guys. And to Keegan's point, I think they have confidence in themselves. There's really no pressure because one guy doesn't have to win the game. Just do your part. All these guys can do their part and do it well. We have confidence in them. Um, and don't feel like you have to win the game. So to me, that's a lot of fun. Uh, as you go out there and you know you just go out there and be aggressive, make good decisions, and hopefully generate good opportunities. And for a couple more. Keegan, you had that behind the back goal early in the third quarter, right on the three. Can you kind of take us through that moment from your perspective? Well, I saw Logan with the ball up top and kind of just made like a little cut across the crease and just realized I made, might be running at angles. So I just shot it behind my back and threw it in the angle. So I'm happy to see it go in. Talk about going through it. Um, yeah, two things that like behind the back is obviously a part of the goal. One that you guys had in the third quarter. What changed in the transition from halftime to the third quarter that really helped you guys win? Uh, yeah, really just not letting up and stuff. You know, the coach said it at halftime, like he brought up Virginia, how they were up 6 1, and then they came still in the back. The high point's a really good team, you know, they, they don't give up. <clears throat> they go on like a lot of runs and stuff, so you just, you know, really. Uh, saying that at halftime, just really keeping the pedal to the metal and just keep going. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates.